good morning and welcome to today's upload. My name is Emma. Stick around for hauls and vlogs and chats. It's a lovely day. I am going to pop out. I'm going to have a little look around home bargains. I'm going to show you if there's any back to school stationery. Um, some of you will still have a few days left, so you'll be able to go and grab some. So we'll see what they've got in there. Stationery wise, also a lot of you, the, the noise is the dog. <sighs> Forever, just like this. Um, also, I'm going to see if there's any Halloween bits. So I'll do a little come shot with me. I'm not sure if I'll grab anything. Because as you know, I said, we're not going to get any more Halloween stuff. I've got quite a lot, but I am going to have a little look around. I've also got to go and pick up a Boots um, delivery. So that might feature in this video or in the next video. So we'll have a good old mooch around. Um, my girl has got a book voucher. So she's going to get some books. So I might show you them as well. And what kind of books she's living at the moment. In case you've got any little tweens that want to grab themselves some books. So let's go. The washing's on the line again. Oh, oh, I'm so excited to tell you. In my last video, you may remember, if you managed to watch all of it, that I was like, does anybody know where my Halloween spirit jerseys are? Stephen bought loads of the Halloween bags and I'm going to do like a Halloween tour when it's all sorted. And I opened one and it had the spirit jerseys in, not seen, for three years. I was like, where has this bag been? So I've put them in the wash and they're hanging on the line alongside Halloween pyjamas. So they're... I was like, seriously, I was like, oh. Neith was like, are you crying? I was like, no. I was just so happy to see them. So I've got a pumpkin Halloween jumper and also I've got a, um, a uh, Sanderson Sisters spirit jersey as well, both of them. So that's really good. And I find a t-shirt that I only managed to wear one Halloween, which I also lost, which was a t-shirt. And it's got like a sequin Mickey on. What a day. I was just like... Where has, where has this stuff been? Where has it been? Right, I'm going to go and I'll see you in a minute. P.S. The next bit, if it's the Home Bargains has got its crazy loud music on, it will be a voiceover because we know, you know you could go in and it will be like, you make me feel brand new and all kind of music like that. So anyway, love you. I headed straight to the mugs because I've seen there's been some Halloween cups and stuff online and plates, but there was nothing to be found. They did have some Disney Villains mugs for $1.99, which are really cute and would look nice in your mug collection. Sadly, Emma needs no more mugs. She doesn't, she doesn't. Stop trying to persuade her. They had loads of stationary bits in here. They've got their scribble range, which is just basically a smiggle knockoff. We all know it is home bargains. It's smiggle, and you've just spelt it scribble. But there's loads of bits and bobs for school, loads of nice brightly coloured bits, um, some kind of fidget pens that I know that my little boy would love. So lots of nice stuff in. And around the corner was kind of more grown-up stationery. If that's a thing, it is a thing. We love grown-up stationery, don't we? I was looking for a gratitude journal and they had a couple here. So I was really pleased to find those. A bit later on, I show you what's inside them. They had loads of really nice stationery here. Lots of bits and bobs that my girl really liked, like little planners. They had um, pads. They had academic diaries. I'm not going to get an academic diary, I don't think. I'm still working with the one that I bought at the start of the year. And really, I mainly do to-do lists now. <laughs> Why am I telling you this? You're like, Emma, I am not interested in your diary antics. This was a great set for a tween if I hadn't already had bought something like a student essentials. Then I have a little look in the gratitude journal. For £1.50, I thought this was great. So I picked up a couple. I got one for me and I got one for my friend. They also had some really nice Disney flasks in. So if you're going on a trip to Disney at any point in the next year or so maybe grab them they had some tupperware they also had some bits and bobs um of school uniform there was some nice socks but they had bows in the top so we they were not approved and they also had a really really nice mini mouse section which again would be good for disney holidays or for disney fans or for yeah i'm gonna say it stocking fillers you know I have been thinking about such stuff. I found a little mini planner. It was just plain inside. There was nothing else Disney about it apart from the cover. Some fidget bits and bobs. So all in all, loads of stuff. Get down there when you can. We have come into Smith's. Because um, you've got a book voucher. It's three for two at the moment. I know books are probably cheaper in other places. But 
she can spend her voucher here. Oh no, not that one. Oop. Let me put her back. Uh, my friend Katie writes these books, um, which is the Lottie book series. That's better, you can see the Lottie book series. And um, Katie Kirby, she writes those. My girl absolutely adores them. This is the third one. So if you've got girls around, or boys around 10, 11, 12, these are brilliant. Um, really, really good books, like in a diary form. So, but we, if you've got any suggestions for what my girl can read, I know lots of you are avid readers who watch, let us know. She's a bit too old now for Dork Diaries, aren't you, and Diary of a Wimpy Kid? Oh, you read them all. So, what else can she read? Um, you've done the Dork Diaries, haven't you? What about that Love Me Not, Erin? Because you've read the Holly Smell ones before, pass us that. That's the, the Geek Girl, Erin loves Geek Girl. That looks a good one, that's big. The Valentine's fame, it runs in the family. That looks good. Meet the bad girl of the Valentine's. That looks good. Yeah. That looks a really good one. Um, and you like Holly Smell because the geek girls yeah. down here are ones that she's read before. So I'll show you when we get back what she, what she went for. We have gone for Undercover Princess Connie Glynn. What's new, Harper Drew by Kathy Weeks and The Valentine's Fame it Runs in the Family, Love Me Not by Holly Smale. It's two, three for two, so she'll still have some money left. Happy days. That took a long, a long time. Leave recommendations for us, please, in the comments. Thank you, love you. We are back. I'm going to show you the very exciting thing I picked up um, that I ordered from Boots. We are going to have a Greg's. We're going to have a Greg's. Um, what is your Greg's order? If you know what a Greg's is. Hello! Little, 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 little. We're going to have a Greg's. We've gone for sausage roll and a cake each because the boys are at um, my boys' first ever football match. They're going to see Aston Villa. Up the villa, UTV. What? Let me know what football team. I was like, what? Up the villa. That's uh. up the villa. Let me know what football team you support. We support, we're a villa household here. Thu <sighs> and Thu, Granddad Rog sports villa. I support the villa. Who do you support? I don't even the know. Villa. Do you, you don't even need to say who do you support. The know. Villa. <laughs> um, but we are going to watch uh, Disney in detail, Victoria. We've got two videos. We're two videos behind, aren't we? Mm -hmm. So you're going to watch those. If you do not subscribe to Victoria, you must go and subscribe to her. She is a wonderful human. When we went on the cruise last year, she was on the same cruise as us, wasn't she? And we hung out with her and she's lovely. And she does very in-depth Disney videos, lots of tips. Top tips, so we're going to eat our lunch, watch that, and then bring the boxes in. What football team do you support? The Villa. Yes, yes. I am so sad. I'm so sad with myself that I, I want to take myself and put myself on the naughty step opened my boots delivery brilliant brilliant ordered myself and Stephen our advent calendars already because i thought I don't want them to sell out really want these saw the first one and i was like no and then i thought oh no the second one's gonna be the same first one i saw was marvel socks this was 25 pound marvel socks for Stephen. I was so excited to give him this for Christmas. Twelve socks of Christmas, kid size, eleven to two and a half, age five to ten. And then I thought, oh, not even my children can have this because one has size five feet, one has size four feet. And then I thought, say it isn't so. But we all know it's so. 12 Socks of Christmas, Disney Princess. The same thing. Oh, my, what a flipping idiot. And I was like, oh no, I don't have to. And they're £25 each, so it's not like it's so you can go like, oh, look, this is £50 worth of stuff. And I had a little look on the returns and I can return it back to the shop so this week i'll take it to the shop that i got it from with the email i like 
I, I absolutely tore into the box as well. You know, and you're like, it doesn't matter because it's not going to return anything, so I can just shred the box to bits. Um, I am going to have to return. Did she go for one? Did she go for one? Did she go for one? Oh, okay. Just take off for a couple more minutes. Just walk around a little bit. Um, we're having a little bit of a problem. In the garden, there's one little gap where the dog can get out, so we can't let her out. In an, you know how I used to let her in and out and stuff? So Stephen's going to get some chicken wire tomorrow and try and um, sort the hole out. So now we have to walk around on the lead, but she's like livid. She's like, oh, how dare you lock me up in chains like this? I want to roam free. What, and run around the neighbourhood. So she needs to be, um, we need to sort out that out. Anyway, foolish mistake. Not to worry, Emma. You can take it back, you can go back in, you can get your money back, and then you can order a whole new advent calendar. But I think the sock advent calendar for this year, the Disney one, the other one, I think it's the one I had last year, and I don't need two of the same, a lot of socks. So my quest for an advent calendar continues. You, I will take you along that thrilling journey with me. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and put that at the back. Put it at the back to take. Back As you can see, I've started to work my way through the Halloween stuff. Um, I made, every year I get decorations out and every year I'm like, I don't use some of them. So I was like, I've donated them. So we're getting decorations out in here. There is all sorts of um, bits and bobs uh, from the past few years. I've gone through those. Some of the clothes are six to eight. So they've gone to the charity. And then there's some of my dresses. And also that pumpkin outfit just there um, was for Lucy. And obviously she never got the chance to wear it. So we kept it in the vain hope that one day we may get another puppy. So um, Margot will be able to wear that at some point. So it's all going to plan. If you like these bags, um, you can always get them in home bargains. It looks like we got that from... I feel like we might have got that from Denham or something. But these are from Home Bargains. These are great for storage. So that's all coming to plan. There's one box that we can't find. Is this going to be the theme every year? Is every year we're not going to be able to find one, one Halloween box? Every year we're going to be like, we've lost the box with the... So we've lost the box with like little signs and stuff in. Where's that gone? But, but I found the jumpers, so I feel like it's somebody's way of telling me, Emma, you're not allowed too much Halloween goodness. We have to hide, hide a certain amount from you. I am aware that I sound bonkers. I'm so annoyed about those flipping advent calendars. Also, I didn't get anything in Home Bargains apart from these um, gratitude journals. Me and my friend Justin are going to do September gold setting. And I think I'll probably do a little video or in a vlog where I'm going to talk about gold setting. And we talked about doing gratitude planners and diaries as well as a normal diary. So I got one of us one of these each. They're like £1.49 or something. So that would be a nice little treat for her. I'm going to take you on a different kind of journey now. It's my nails. So I um, started to get my nails done every couple of weeks. Love it, love it, love it. And I'm going to continue to do it. I'm going to continue to do it when the children are back at school. There is not one ounce of time this week where I can go and get my nails done where I haven't got a child with me. And my nail salon is... Oh, I just love it. I love going there so much. People are always round with their boyfriends on the phone. It's just like brilliant. But there, you can go and be in and out in half an hour you can go and you could be there for two hours. There's no rhyme or reason. No one's not going, no, no one knows what's going on. If you book a time, they, they're not going, they don't stick to that time. You just get the time, they're going to give you the time. It's, it's, it's bizarre. I love it, but it's bizarre. So I need, my nails are so grown out that I need to take my nails off and I'm going to take you on this journey because I am going to get my nails taken off. That's, and I'm going to do it myself because they're so grown out now that they're a little bit gross. So I'm gonna take them off and then um, when the kids go back to school, I'll get some new ones and then I'll get some autumn nails. So I'm gonna take these off. I bought all the stuff like a couple of weeks ago 
and I'm going to try and get them off successfully and not looking too manky. Wish me luck. So the plan is to go in my little nail, Uji me flop, and I bought these. Whoops, that is not what I want. I bought those. I bought that, and I don't know if I bought it or I thought I've got some. Oh, and I need those. Hmm. Where did I buy? No, I never. No, I didn't. No, I thought I bought something else. Maybe I was being a bit tight because I thought I already had something. So the plan is, I asked at this. Um, these are like at the outlet places. I can't remember what the shop's called. But I said, what will remove like artificial nail varnish? And they said, this will. So this is acetone. Pardon? Oh, it's all right. Me and Erin think we're talking to each other, we're not. So, and then I'm going to put it in here and then I'm going to soak like that. And it should come off. But the first of all, I'm going to... Um, you're definitely going to be leaving comments going, no, don't do that, do this. I'm going to scrape off the top with one of these emery boards to get rid of like the seal and then get rid of them. I could last a few, other, a few more days, but then I've got the kids for the next few days, so I won't have any time to even do this. I've got both of them by myself. I can, um, and I just won't be able to have the time. Right, let's get this done. You know, when you start something... <laughs> you immediately regret it. Guys, I won't be doing this again. Is this a vlog of just disasters? Um I'm gonna I'm gonna keep persevering, otherwise I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna keep going on. I am gonna try and soak them again. But yeah. Not not going well. Ugh, that didn't that has taken me an hour to do and I haven't even got it all off that's so frustrating please let me have any tips I think the tip will be Emma just get it done professionally <laughs> um I do worry I might have ruined my nails a bit but I've got to crack on with the day I can't sit here for hours waiting for them to go so I'm gonna um carry on with the day and tidy up and put the vacuum around and then maybe tonight when Steve and I are watching some um telly I can get rid of you, you I don't even know if you'll be able to see yeah you can the last little bit go go curse me curse me for not finding the time but I, w I just wouldn't have had the time in another so they've been on for three weeks it'd be like another week and a half because I can go again they'll be on for four and a half weeks by then there would just be little tips and I'm sure some of you will go well that was would it be better than what you've been left with but I'd committed to it and I couldn't take my fingers out. Stephen and I are currently watching, oh my gosh, what's it called? It's on BBC and it's about the influencer whose baby was stolen. That is no help. Things she says, stuff she says, I'll try and find what I mean. But that's good. And Stephen and I really enjoyed The Sandman on Netflix, which I'm sure loads of you will have seen. And that was absolutely amazing as well we really 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 loved that um i can't believe i've just got a few days left of summer um thanks so much for bearing with me this summer and i've been kind of like I've, I've uploaded as much as i can but it's so i forget every year every year i forget that it's like hard to manage um working and looking after the kiddos and as they get older they don't get any less kind of I mean it's a different it's a different need isn't it when they're toddlers they're like you know you physically have to be with them all the time and as they get older you, it's just like a bit more mentally and trying to get them to have play dates and days out and filling up the holiday with all that good stuff and you know what we've had a great such a busy 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 summer but it's been it has been really really good but I'm looking forward to September, I'm looking forward to um, a new fresh term, a new, not a new start, but just like some new goals, new clothes. I think I ended last week's video like, oh, just new clothes, I can get my boots out, I can have new nail varnish on. So I'm really, really, I'm really, really excited. Like, I can smell autumn, I mean I can't. 
it's it's warm today it's quite summery weather but in my head i'm like lorelei as if she says i smell snow i don't even smell snow at, at the moment all i smell is flipping acetone nail varnish remover that's all i smell i took erin's nail varnish off as well she had hers done at the beginning normal nail varnish at the beginning of the summer and i was like mate we've got to get that off before we go back to school it was like chipped hanging on hanging on with the rug but also i'm going to insert a picture, couple of pictures here of the boys at the football they are having the best time i'll be really interested to hear how um ethan gets on he's never been a huge fan of big crowds but we did the commonwealth games closing ceremony which he really loved so i'm hoping that he'll love this as well right my loves i'm going to be back in a few days with another video um i hope you're you know enjoying the last few days of summer please leave me top tips for books for tweens and how on earth i can get rid of these last little dregs of pink i've used a file I might just end up painting over the top of the, but anyway, love you lots. Bye guys. Bye.